Hey everybody, Patrick here with Rap4. Hey, going over some of the new USMG gear that just hit our catalog. This is a gunfighter plate carrier that's got a few different features you might not know about. First of all, it's made out of Cordura nylon. This one is in Coyote Tan, but it's available in black and olive drab. It's covered in molly. All right, each one of these molly loops is actually gauged at over 500 pounds, so you could hang your entire body weight off of each one of these. The seams are that good. Shown here, this is the assault package. I'm gonna go over those pouches here in a moment, but stock one would come with no pouches. Luckily, it's molly, which has been this uh, tactical standard in the industry for over 10 years. So you can get pouches from any company, any of the pouches you might have right now, if they're molly compatible, they will attach to this vest. This one's a plate carrier, and one of the benefits of that is how minimal it is. You get a lot of movement out of it. Um, bigger, bulkier vest, kind of get in your way when you're trying to move and be quick. This one, though, lays pretty flat on the sides. It does have a molly cummerbund that wraps around the sides, um, but I choose not to put anything underneath my arms. But if you like to have some kit right there, that's fine. I remember seeing a lot of people in the service who put their canteens underneath their arms so they could kind of rest their arms on it during foot patrols. If that's your thing, go for it. Personally, I don't like anything there so that I can swing my arms back and forth when I'm running. A cool thing about this plate carrier is that this cummerbund that wraps around the sides is actually removable. Um, it comes off here in the back with the molly, and I'm going to show you how. Now here on the back, which attaches to the molly on the back of the vest, you're going to simply remove these stiffer tabs in here. Um, they're only connected in there um, by kind of being wedged in there either way. So all you have to do is muscle it out, like so, pull it. Same thing for the bottom one, and it comes off. So on the front, just undo the zipper. You've got yourself just a standard plate carrier with strap underneath the arm and over the shoulder. Uh, this is really good for those of you who are in regions that have uh, pretty extreme seasons. Maybe you want to have like a hot weather one like this where you'd be running like a t-shirt having like maximum ventilation versus um, having the entire strap here underneath you kind of bundle you up if you're wearing an entire BDU jacket like I am now. Now the way that you don and doff this vest is really easy. If you have the cummerbund on, all you gotta do is unzip it, comes apart. Now there's two ways to take it off from here. If you want, what I usually do is just do these side clips, take it up, up and over your head. But if you wanted to, you could undo one side and the shoulder, and then take it off sideways. Now as you can see, it's got some good mesh uh, ventilation here on the inside, a little bit of padding too, just in case you're wearing like a heavy kit, won't take it out straight to your shoulder. If this was just a, a straight nylon strap, you might end up with some marks on you, but a little squishy for you. Also, it's able to fit large or medium sized sappy plates. It's got a couple of simulation inserts here myself. 